This is an e-seed, and it could be the future of reforestation. When dropped on the ground, the seed-carrying device buries itself into the soil, boosting the chance of germination. E-seed is a self-bearing seed carrier that is responsive to the moisture. So when it's rain, it coils and uncoils, and it starts drilling into the ground. So this self-bearing function will help them to establish their roots a little bit better, and also help them to create a more reforestation. Today, in Northern California, this young team of researchers is testing how drones can be used to deploy their latest e-seed prototypes for the very first time. Are you guys nervous? I am the most oh, nervous cool. person. <laughs> Maybe they are too PhD student Samina E and her team have developed a new remote yes, control yes. payload that holds and releases the e-seeds in theory. They've been up most of the night to try to make it work. Aerial seeding is a way to cover large, inaccessible areas in need of restoration. But it comes with its challenges. Yeah, we're sort of improvising a little bit. Now it's raining, so we're just testing things out on the deck first. So I just loosened Today, the rain and near freezing temperatures is causing havoc with their tech, shrinking the plastic and locking the gears. So it's back to work. I didn't think about the weather will impact this much. This is exactly the weather we, we want to catch for the, for the seas. It's probably too cold for people. But before long... Let's give it a try? Yes. 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 With the break in the heavy rain, they've got one chance to fly and deploy their seed carriers. It's here in the Morphing Matter Lab where the team is developing the next generation of e-seed prototypes. Made out of treated wood, the biodegradable devices are molded into a coil shape. This three-tailed design helps prop up the device on flat surfaces. When it gets wet, it uncoils, twisting the seed pod down. It looks very simple, it's very elegant, let's say, the shape and everything, but it requires a lot of work considering all the different parameters that are within the, the device. The design mimics the behavior of self-bearing seeds found in nature, like this erodium seed. Samina's latest designs are inspired by pods she's found on campus. It's amazing to learn how they are evolved to survive. So I think those strategy really gives me an, a lot of ideas and also learning as well. And then be a little bit humble that how smart nature is. These EC devices are the result of years of collaboration with teams across the country. Assistant professor Li Ning Yao led the development of the original e-seed, which was featured on the cover of the journal Nature in 2023. Oh, we keep this now her students are taking the next step, harnessing the power of technology to enhance their designs. We can think about leveraging the AI-enabled design to optimize different seed geometries have them tailored to specific terrain conditions. And also thinking about deploying those seeds, right? We need uh, drones and suddenly we're going into the drone technology field. Back out in the field, it's go time with the drone. Yeah, hopefully. The rain is holding off for one shot at releasing the e-seeds. And it works. The pods are released, ready to bury themselves in the soil. It means they're a step closer to their end goal. In the next few years, I would like to see ESID in the real world challenges. Helping replant forests across the globe. Take off. Whether it's restoring giants or making our farms more sustainable, Technology made by these young innovators is reshaping the global agriculture industry in innovative and exciting ways. <laughs> Ensuring a brighter future for the next generation and this planet we call home. <laughs>